like I was saying, at the lowest point, you need to make it straight, and then take your exacto knife. If you really want to, you could do scissors, but exacto knife is way easier. And you press it down really good, and you cut off. Oh, that's bad cut. Uh, man. Sorry about this guy. Okay, so you <laughs> cut off your strip. Um, and then you cut off your strip. Just get them as straight as you can. Um, then you peel it off. Okay. So your strip should be at least eight and a quarter. At least. So... I'm hoping, yeah, eight and a quarter, yeah, that is about right, um, between eight, it should be, uh, like, eight and a half, but that's okay. Next, you're going to cut out one strip that is the exact same length, or a little longer than this. What you're going to do with that is you're going to put it on here, and you're going to cut it in half, the long way. So, you cut that in half the long way. And you just put that aside for a second. Okay. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to take um, a three-inch strip of black. And you're going to cut that down half in the middle, too. So you cut that down in the middle. Okay. That's not really middle. Okay. But what you do next is... Uh, where do I put this? Okay, I'll just put that there. You take your wallet and you find the crease and you fold it. Um, if it's not the exact length you want it, just fold it up. It doesn't have to be on a crease. It just has to be there. Um, like you see. Um, I like to leave a little up here for the pattern, so it'll look like that at the top. It'll have the leopard. So, I'm going to fold it right there. It's okay if it's not perfectly straight or anything, but just fold it so it makes a crease so you can fold it back. Then you take one of the strips. Okay, so you take one of this long leopard, and you put the uber straight from the side on the out. So then you just put it low enough so that when you fold over this, it's not like, um, so you can see that. Okay, you do not fold that over yet. Do not fold that over. What you should do is you should trim the sides to the exact length of the wallet and then do that with both sides. Next what you're going to do is you're going to take your strip 